So that's just the complex conjugate of i n pi x over l. So minus i n pi x over l. Okay. Um, and now the complex conjugates of those coefficients are nothing but the coefficients of the same ones but with n replaced by minus n. Minus infinity to plus infinity of e to the minus i n by x over l. Okay, so that's the complex conjugate of f. Okay, but we also know that um, the coefficients, so c of n is equal to 1 over 2L, those are the coefficients of the Fourier transform, and minus L to L of F of X in the complex form, it's F of X e to the um, <coughs> minus uh, I and pi x over l, right, dx. So now if I take the complex conjugate of that, that would be 1 over 2l, from minus l to l, the complex conjugate of f of x, and now I take the complex conjugate of the exponential, which is i n pi x over l, dx, And now, if I multiply um, so let's call this equation A. Uh, let's see if this gets us somewhere. So if we multiply uh, the first equation by f of x, we would get so multiply a by f of x. This would give us uh, f of x times the complex conjugate of f of x. <coughs> this has to be equal. Mm. Uh, we can bring f of x inside. So that would be... Uh, Minus, and that would be the summation of cm e to the i m pi x over l cm times the complex conjugate of f of x. So that's f of x, not the complex conjugate. And now we can integrate both. And this is going to be minus infinity to plus infinity. And we can integrate both sides from minus L to L. Minus L to L. And this would give us uh, the summation. We can bring the integral inside the summation. C of n integral of F e to the i n pi 
x over l dx to minus l to l. Uh, okay, now we know that uh, this guy here, right? Um, okay, so now this is going to become CN, but this guy here is nothing but 2L on, I see, CN. So this is the complex conjugate of the coefficient. And the equation up there. From this equation here. And so now, uh, yeah, so now this just becomes 2L summation CN, CN complex conjugate minus infinity to plus infinity. So therefore, we get minus L to L. Oh, there's a dx here, of course. And there's a dx here, of course. So, and this will just give us uh, minus L to L fx squared dx will just equal to 2L, the summation from minus infinity to infinity and c n squared and square. Uh, and I could just take this one over two L and divide it on here and you would get the final result. 